day tomorrow then. Oh, yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to you too! Oh, this weather's turned very suddenly. I shouldn't be surprised if we had a white Christmas. Hooray! Never mind hooray. Let's get these presents indoors. Oh, this cold's enough to freeze the mittens off you. Can I put the new decorations on the tree, Mother? I'd be really careful. Well, as long as you don't stand on the furniture. Merry Christmas from us. I will. Good night. Merry Christmas. Good night. Good night. Ah, whoops. Ah, ah. Do come on and stop Oops. dawdling. The sooner we get home, the better. We don't be around when those weasels come out, do we? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Are you ready to push on, Mel? Because it really is getting rather late and we've quite a way to go yet. I'm sorry, Rat. It was lovely to go and visit Badger and everything, but it does seem an awfully long way and my legs are so short. <laughs> Poor old Mo. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other and we shall be back at the riverbank before you know it. But we've been walking for such a long time and I'm sure we didn't come this way. In fact, it looks as if we're coming to a village. Quite right. It's a shortcut. But we don't want to walk through there, do we, Rat? You never can tell with villages. It'll be quite safe, I promise you. At this season of the year, they're all indoors by this time, sitting around the fire. Men, women and children, dogs, cats and all. We shall slip through all right without any bother or unpleasantness, and we can have a look at them through their windows, if you like, and see what they're doing. Father Christmas will bring me, Mother. Mother, do you think he'll bring me what I asked for? I'm sure I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? I only asked for about three things, because I didn't want to seem greedy. Do you think three things are too much? I'm sure he'll do his best, my dear. Now, you tie these on with the ribbons, and you're not to touch any of the glass things, all right? Yes, Mother. They look so warm and cosy, don't they? And what a very fine jardiniere. And that carriage clock. <sighs> look at that lovely big fire. Uh, come on, Mildy. We must get on. One last effort. We're on the home stretch now. I expect those people will be having supper soon. Hmm. <laughs> Personally, I could do with a nice warming drink. I expect those people will be having nice warming drinks from that lovely fire and lots of... Did you notice, Mole, the splendid carriage clock on their mantelpiece? I wonder where one might get a clock like that. I'm afraid I've no idea. Aha! What is it? What's the matter, Rat? If I'm not mistaken, another shortcut. But it's a... It's a farmyard, Ratty. We can't possibly... Ratty! Ratty! Well, 
That was exciting, wasn't it? I don't know that I'm all that good at excitement on the whole. Will there be any other shortcuts, Rat? Afraid not, old fellow. Don't know anymore. Raise up, Molly. Nearly home. Home? My old home that I haven't seen for so long. I can smell it. We must be quite close to it, and it's sending me a message. It's calling to me. It's missing me, and it wants me back. Ratty! Hold on! Come back, quick! Oh, come along, my old do. Please stop, Ratty. You don't understand. It's my home. My old home. I've just come across the smell of it, and it's close by here. Re really quite close. And I must go to it. I must. I must. Oh, come back, Ratty. Please. Please come back. No, I can't hear the word you're saying. We mustn't stop now, really. We'll come for it tomorrow, whatever it is you but found. Ratty. Oh, dear. I daren't stop now, Mole. It's late, and the snow's coming on again, and I'm not sure of the way. And I want your nose, Mole, so come on, quick, there's a good fellow. I'm sorry, Ratty, but... It's a... As soon as we get back, we'll have a huge fire of logs in the parlour and the best supper you can imagine. We shall have a first-rate Christmas, you'll see, and it won't matter how deep the snow is out here, we shall be warm and cosy inside. Come on, come on! I'm coming! I don't see why we have to go out robbing in this weather. I'm freezing! And if... Oh, oh. What do you mean? Oh, oh. Victims. I sees victims, Ed. Rat and Mole were our gentlemen of quality, and therefore likely to be having about their persons money and gold watches and might be even a silk handkerchief or two, eh? Hey, hey? Look here, Mole, old chap, you seem dead tired. No talk left in you and your feet dragging like lead. Well, the best part of our journey is over, so perhaps it wouldn't hurt to sit down for a minute and rest. Here we are. We'll go along that ditch and come out at them from behind. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. It's perfectly placed, is that ditch? No, I mean, are you sure it's all right to rob them? I thought they was friends of Badger. He can get very nasty, you know. Very nasty. So, what's he going to do about it, then? He's indoors, isn't he, in this weather? If you say so. I do. So shut up and let's get on with it. We'll soon be home, Mole, really. Home? Oh. <laughs> old fellow. Whatever can be the matter? Tell me your trouble and let me see what I can do. <laughs> I know it's a shabby, dingy little place, not like your cosy quarters or Badger's great house, but it was my own little home and I was fond of it. And I went away and forgot all about it. And then I smelt it, suddenly, on the road, when I called you and you wouldn't listen, Rat. And everything came back to me in a rush and I want it. Oh dear, oh dear. And I had to leave it, though I was smelling it all the time. I thought my heart would break. We might have just gone and had one look at it, Ratty. Only one look. It was close by. But you wouldn't turn back, Ratty. You wouldn't turn back. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I see it all now. What a pig I have been. A pig, that's me. Just a plain pig. No, no, Ratty. You weren't to know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's go on. Yes, we'd really better be going, old chap. Ready? I suppose so. One, two, three. <laughs> Rat? Come along, Mo. This way. <laughs> Wherever are you? Going to Ratty. We're going to find that home of yours, old fellow, so you'd better come along. It'll take some finding and we shall want your nose. No, no, Ratty, it's no good. It's too late and too dark and the snow's coming again and I never meant to let you know I was feeling that way about it. It was all an accident and a mistake. 
And think of the riverbank and your supper. Hang riverbank and supper. I tell you I'm going to find this home of yours if I stay out all night. So, use your nose and give your mind to it. Well, all right then. If you're sure. Aha! Now where are they going? If we knew that, we wouldn't need to follow them, would we? Through here. I knew that nose of yours wouldn't fail you, Molly. If you don't keep up, we'll lose them. Well, I can't help it. You can't see where you're treading in all this snow. We oughtn't to be out in it. It's not right. We should be at home, by the fire. You won't say that when we've robbed them and we've got our pockets stuffed full of money. Will you? Hey! Oh, sorry. Hey! What are you doing? Sorry. So sorry. Ratty! Ooh. I can't keep up with you, Mo. Let me know when you found it. You throw yourself at his ankles and I'll grab him round the neck. I tell you, I'm still not sure about this. If I'd have known you were such a coward, I'd have come on my own. It's not that. It's just that they're friends of Badger. Where's he gone? How should I know? Molly? Molly, where are you? Hear that? Down here! <laughs> That's it. I'm going home. I knew I should have come on my own. Where are you, Mo? I can't see a thing. My little garden. My courtyard. Mo, please light a match or something. I'm sorry, Pat. There. Ah, oh, that's better. I say, what a charming courtyard. Do you like it? This belonged to my grandfather. He was a keen gardener and he always... I think it's perfectly splendid, Mo. And this is my front door. See? Mole End. Aha. Uh -huh. Welcome to my house, Rat. Oh. Oh, dear. Why ever did I do it? Why did I bring you to this poor, cold little place on a night like this when you might have been at Riverbank by this time, toasting your toes before a blazing fire with all your own nice things about you? Nonsense, Mo. This is a capital little house. So compact. So well planned. We'll make a jolly night of it. Now oh, then, I say, you've some splendid prints, haven't you? And this place is a very nice piece. But first things first. Oh, you get a duster and smarten things up a bit. Bustle about, old chap. But the first thing we want is a good fire. There, we'll soon have a fine blaze going. Oh, what a pleasant little place this is. I, I know it's not like your home, Ratty, but I'm very fond of it and I really do... Supper! What are we going to have for supper? Oh, Ratty, I've nothing to give you, nothing. Not a crumb. What a fellow you are for giving in. Why, only just now I saw a sardine opener on the kitchen dresser quite distinctly. And everybody knows that means there are sardines about. Let's go and look. 
There's nothing, Ratty. <sighs> nothing. No bread, no butter, no... no caviar, no champagne. Whatever shall we do? Oh, there's this. Sardines, didn't I tell you? And what else? Look, a box of ship's biscuits nearly full. And German sausage. And what's this? Looks like a bottle of blackcurrant cordial. <sighs> yes, blackcurrant cordial. What a self-indulgent beggar you are, Mo. Every luxury in this house, deny yourself nothing. <laughs> we'll have the cordial hot, shall we, Rat? Be more Christmassy. Splendid idea. Hand me down that sauce. Uh, and have we any spices? Here. Thank you. Now, just you wait and see what... What's that noise? Ah! Hello, hello. Merry Christmas, Mr. Mole. Merry Christmas to you. What the? Shh. Listen. <coughs> Good evening, Mr. Mole and Mr. Rat. Come along. Straight lines, please. And... Well sunk. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Very, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank now come along in, all of you, and warm yourselves for the fire and have something hot. Yes, come along. This is quite like old times. That's it. In you come. Ratty, no. Whatever are we doing? We've nothing to give them. Leave that to me. <laughs> oh, well, uh, give me a coat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me, young mouse. Rose, sir. Are the shops still open, Rose? Yes, sir. I think so. Then perhaps you would oblige me by stepping out and making a few purchases. Certainly, sir. Just these things here. Now, fresh mind, only the best. No tin stuff, and quick as you can. I'll be really quick, Mr. Rat. You'll see. Supposing they've only got tinned? Then you'll have to go somewhere else. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, now, are you all sitting comfortably? You look a bit squashed. Why don't some of you sit over here? <laughs> I didn't exactly mean... Sir. Excuse me, Mr. Mole, sir. Yes, young fellow? Of course you may. Through that door and round to the left. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Spices, we've got blackcurrant cordial. Now all we need is Eureka! Honey! Hot spiced blackcurrant. Just the thing to bring the warmth back to their little fingers and toes. Mm. Mm. 
Uh, uh, when you've done that, young mouse, perhaps you'd be so kind as to assist me with these drinks. Yes, Mr. Asser. Capital. And uh, how are your mothers and fathers? Very well, thank you, sir. And your brothers and sisters? Very well, well thank you, sir. And, uh... Here we are. Hot drinks all round. Careful, you'll spill it. No, I won't. You will, then you'll be in trouble. Ah, has everyone got a drink? Yes, yes thank you. you. <laughs> For real. I got it. I got everything you asked me. Ah, splendid. I had to go to three shops. You've done an excellent job, young Rose, and you shall have a penny for going. Thank you, sir. Come and stand near the fire. You must be frozen. Thank you, Mr. Mole. Look lively there. Everyone to work. <laughs> you, young fella, bring the plates from over there. Yes, sir. Now, you ladies, <laughs> pull up some seats. Cut right. in the drawer over there. The rest of you help me to unpack the basket. Yes, sir. I can't quite reach the top here, Mr. Moore. I'll get it, I'll get it. I won this at the fair two summers ago. Very tasteful, I thought. Oh, yes. And are you all still doing your play acting? You gave us a capital one last year, I remember. All about a field mouse captured by pirates. We've got a really exciting one this year, but I won't tell you what it's about, or it won't be a surprise. <laughs> 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 Dear old Mole, so worried and anxious earlier, and now look at him, chatting and laughing, not a care in the world. Are you sure you've all got something to take with you? Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, yes, thank you, we have. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, good night then, and Merry Christmas. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you for supper. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I'm sure you can find room for one more orange in there, young lady. And the end of the cheese. Thank you, Mr. Mole. Thank you, Mr. Rat. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Ah, oh, what a jolly evening we had, Molly. And what a comfortable, friendly little house this is. I know it's very plain and simple, Rat. I know that now that I've seen your home in badges, but I do love it. And it's good to think that I have somewhere which is all my own and which will always welcome me back. And it will welcome my friends too, Rat. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Molly. <laughs> <laughs>